Shiny objects. Are you kidding me? Again? Here we go. All right, folks. Hey, how you doing? Andrew here. Top fitness strategies. I am the face who runs the place. And today we're going to talk about the latest gizmo gadget out there, the nice shiny object that's going to help your workout. That's right. Because you know, there's all kinds of them out there. It seems like every year we have another one coming out. So if you're like me, and I should say if you're old like me, let's just say, because again, Top fitness strategies, fitness over 50, look better, feel better, gain some confidence. That's what we're all about. So if you're like me, you've been around for a while and you've seen all kinds of different fitness stuff happen. And I'm not saying anything is bad. So don't get me wrong. I'm not going to put down any kind of program out there. But we've seen from uh, sweating to the oldies to Tybo, P90X, which I'm a huge fan of, by the way video fitness stuff. We've seen the, the the thing where you sit on your on your couch with the bicycle foot pedals and go around. We've seen that, I guess it's called the gazelle thing. And I don't know who the guy was that was doing it, but it basically you, you're you moving your arms and your feet back and forth like a gazelle, I guess it's supposed to be. We've seen that. We've seen the, the bouncy things, uh, the trampolines. We've seen uh, all kinds of forms of exercise bikes all kinds of forms of treadmills and stuff of that sort. We've seen uh, exercise bands. We've seen different kind of pull-up bars. We've seen special shoes, if you will. We've seen armbands. We've seen the, uh, the the thing that you put on your stomach that uh, the, the electric shocks your stomach into losing the fat and the gaining abs in three days. We've seen the six-minute abs. We've seen the five-minute abs. We've seen the 10-minute abs. We've seen all kinds of bad products. Again, I'm not putting any of them down. Nothing whatsoever am I putting them down. But here's the deal. What do all of them have in common? Basic stuff, right? They all say to eat a balanced or proper meal, drink plenty of water, get the proper nutrition, so on and so forth, right? When it all boils down to it, the basic exercises and the basic stuff still works to this day. I, I'm telling you, the push-ups the pull-ups, the body weight stuff. If you want to do some basic curls, you get some basic equipment for your house if you want to do house workouts, home workouts, however you want to phrase it. The latest shiny object doesn't always mean it's the greatest thing out there. I'm not saying don't do it because, and here's, here's why I'm not putting them down. If those shiny objects, and you know what I'm talking about when I say shiny objects, if those shiny objects get you off the couch and start getting you to work out in some way, shape, or form, I am all for them. Absolutely, 100%, I'm behind them. If that's what it takes for you to get off the couch, do some sort of workouts. Go for it, man. If that's what if that's what you need to help with, if that's going to help you get there, do it. Because I'm all about the movement. I'm all about you being the best you you can be. And if that best you you can be requires you to get the latest shiny object out there to do your exercises with, to make you fitter and healthier, so on and so forth, then go for it. Absolutely go for it. I will never, ever put down a product. Now, if the product is unsafe, I would say you shouldn't do it. Of course, any trainer, anybody in the health and fitness world, anybody will tell you if it doesn't if it's not safe if you get if it can potentially hurt you then don't do it okay now then you're going to have some naysayers out there but andrew any exercise can potentially hurt you you're right if you do any exercise wrong it can potentially hurt you do it right okay right? there's nothing on the marketplace that i shouldn't say nothing because i'm sure there's something out there that somebody's going to find and and say see andrew you were wrong most everything you're going to find has been tested, and if it's done correctly, it's not going to hurt you. Will it wear you out? Maybe. Will it make you tired? Yeah. Will it make you sore? Probably. Is it going to hurt you? It's not designed to hurt you because think about it. If you get hurt, if multiple people get hurt using a particular product, lawsuits of plenty are going to happen, baby. Absolutely. So there's my rant with the shiny objects, okay? If it helps you work out, if it helps you move, if it helps you do a little body weight stuff, if it helps you do anything, go for it. Do you need it? No. Because as I said quite a bit, and I say quite often, 
You carry your weight equipment with you all the time in the form of your body. Your body weight uh, uh, can provide you with a great workout, better than what you can you can always imagine. If you want more, great. If you say you can't afford to do something, I'll say, well, let's work on what you use use what you have. Yeah, it is that simple, folks. So the shiny objects, get them if you need them. You don't need them to exercise properly. Make sense? I hope so. Hey, if you're here, I appreciate it. You know what to do. Get over there, top fitness strategies and uh, health and fitness 101. There it is. Q&A, simple answers to complex questions. All right, check it out. It's an ebook that I wrote. You'll understand once you get over there. I have the link in the descriptions. I'll stop it here. Appreciate you being here again. My name is Andrew, Top Fitness Strategies. I am the face who runs the place. We are fitness over 50. Look better, feel better, gain some confidence. Okay, I'll stop it here. Thanks for being here. So until next time, this is Andrew. Ciao.